When water leakage occurs around a formwork column during concrete pouring, it can lead to several issues that may compromise the structural integrity and finish of the concrete. Here are the potential consequences. Segregation of concrete. Water leakage can cause the cement paste to separate from the aggregate, leading to a weaker, less cohesive concrete mix. This can result in honeycombing, where voids are left in the concrete. Loss of water cement ratio. The water cement ratio is critical for achieving the desired strength and durability. Water leakage reduces the amount of water in the mix, affecting hydration and strength development. Weakened structural integrity. Insufficient water for hydration can result in concrete that is less dense and weaker, reducing its load-bearing capacity. Surface defects. Water leakage can cause latent a weak, powdery layer of cement and fine particles on the surface, leading to poor bonding with subsequent layers or finish. The concrete may also develop uneven surfaces or cracks. Corrosion of reinforcement. Poorly compacted or honeycombed areas resulting from water leakage may expose reinforcement bars, increasing the risk of corrosion. Repairing honeycombing in a concrete column requires careful attention to ensure structural integrity and durability. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. 1. Assess the damage. Honeycombing evaluate the depth and extent of voids or cavities in the concrete. Minor honeycombing is superficial, but deeper voids can compromise strength. 2. Repair the area. Clean the surface, remove loose particles, dirt, and debris using a wire brush or pressurized water. For honeycombing, chip away weak or loose concrete around the affected area to expose a sound base. 3. Repairing honeycombing. Small to moderate honeycombing. Apply a cementitious repair mortar or polymer modified mortar. Ensure the mix matches the original concrete strength. Wet the area B for application to improve bonding. Severe honeycombing. If honeycombing compromises structural strength, cut out the damaged section and replace it with new concrete or a high-strength repair mortar. Use bonding agents to ensure the new material adheres to the old concrete. 4. Finishing and curing. Smooth the surface with a trowel after applying the repair material. Cure the repaired area to prevent shrinkage and ensure proper hydration. Follow curing recommendations for the material used. Mitigation measures. Proper sealing of formwork. Ensure that joints and gaps in the formwork are sealed with materials like foam tape or silicone and bottom sealed with cement grout. Inspection before pouring. Controlled pouring. Use controlled pouring techniques to prevent excessive pressure on the formwork, reducing the risk of leaks.